welcome back to my channel if you are new here i am amanda simone thank you so much for tuning in today i'm going to be showing you guys my wash day routine from start to finish you guys i have been neglecting my hair and leaving it tied up under my scarf so today i'm going to give it some love and affection before we get into this video go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family and give me a thumbs up for more videos so I'm going to start by sectioning my hair into four sections. All my natural girls out there just know that it is much easier to work with your hair in sections. And you make sure that no strand is left behind. And I do most of my hair care routine in the shower, you guys, because I do have low porosity hair. So I want to make sure my hair stays moisturized and hydrated during my hair care routine. To clean my scalp, I'm going to go in with this vegan friendly and cruelty free shampoo from Mix Easy. You guys, it smells so good. Just like honey is what it really smells like. And I'm just going to focus on my scalp, my roots, and my ends as well to make sure my hair is nice and clean. <laughs> Once I'm done shampooing that section, I go in with my hair conditioner, which is also from Mix Easy, just to give my hair some slip when it's time to detangle. And I run my hands through it, you guys, fully coating my hair with the conditioner and detangling my ends because I don't want to put too much strain on my hair. I want to be gentle with it because I do not want my hair to pop, okay? And then I go in with my dimming brush beginning at my ends and working my way up to make sure my hair is fully detangled. While I finish the rest of my hair, I want to tell you guys about these amazing products from Mix Easy. I chose these two products because Mix Easy uses high quality natural and safe ingredients. No colorants, parabens, silicone, nothing. So you know your hair is in safe hands. And the best part about it is you can customize your own formula for the results that you want. I included white willow bark extract and avocado extract to define my curls and smooth my hair so it's easier to detangle. Y'all know this kinky hair is nothing to play with. It's so easy, just visit their website and choose your fresh ingredients. Everything you need to know can be found in the description box below. Use my code Simone to get 15% off your entire order. Y'all know what time it is. It is time to deep condition. Today I'm going to go in with Mio's Rosemary Mint Strengthening Hair Mask. You guys, I honestly fell in love with Mio's products after they had their 4th of July sale last year. I bought so many products and my hair has just been feeling wonderful. So I am going to stick with them. But of course I'm going to go in, make sure my hair is evenly coated with a deep conditioner. Y'all go in and get those roots because we tend to forget about them and they don't get any love. So section your hair off and make sure the deep conditioner is really on your roots. It is time to go sit under the hair dryer so I will see you guys in 30 minutes I do go in with my leave-in conditioner before I leave the shower but I just want to show you guys that I did go in with the Miel pomegranate leave-in conditioner and then I follow up with the Miel pomegranate twisting souffle y'all this twisting souffle I have not had a braid out that has not been popping yet okay like 
get on it if you have not been on it yet and sometimes I do go in with the Miel curl smoothie before I go in with the twist and souffle I did not do that this time I do not know why but I feel like my hair definitely felt the difference my hair felt a little dry this time around so if you do want to use the Miel pomegranate products I would use it in that order leave-in curl smoothie and then twisting souffle I'm no expert so it may not you know work how it works for me it depends on your hair but that is a combination that I do like but this twisting souffle has such a thick consistency a little bit goes a long way it really gets the job done okay For my braid outs, I like to do four plaits in each section. So I go ahead and section off that section into a half and then that section into a half and then I plait it up. Before I plait up each section, I go in with a little bit of Eco Styler to help just give my braid out some definition. It's just that simple. Once you have four plaits in each section, then you move on and put four in the rest of the sections. I do like them much smaller. I just feel like they're more defined when they're smaller, but just know that it takes time, you guys. But I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the rest of my head. And lastly, I go in with my Miel Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. I put it all over my scalp and the ends of my hair. It's infused with biotin and encourages growth. My hair takes forever to dry, so I go ahead and put on my bonnet and let it dry overnight. And this is the final look. I am in love with it. I styled it in a mohawk and I feel like it came out pretty good, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.